Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> wherever you are and whatever the time zone you may be, thank you for joining me in Listen Up Coffee Time. I made myself a black coffee and for you, I made latte. Hope that's okay with you. <laughs> Let's turn to the Word of God, shall we? 1 Timothy 4, 5. Because it is consecrated by the Word of, word of God and prayer. Today, let's examine why and how we can pray to God. Quick review of what we discussed yesterday. Prayer is not one way speaking and requesting God to make it happen, but it's a two-way communication between God and us. We ask God, God hears our prayers and answers us, and we listen to God and obey. When we pray, then God hears and answers us, and we hear Him to obey His will by adjusting our lives accordingly. As such, as I share with you, prayer transforms me, not God. Then, why do we pray to God? Friends, you don't have to pray to God. You can always go by your way without His help. But why ignore God Almighty's help? God wants to hear our prayer and wants to better our lives. Friends, please do not bypass God's invitation to communicate with Him. That's why we pray. But more importantly, we pray and seek God to know Him more. God really wants to communicate with us and to reveal how great and loving He is. And prayer is one of the ways to know God more intimately, to fellowship with Him, and to grow in Him. Then, what do we pray for? Good question. First and foremost, please pray and seek Him, for God wants to reveal how wonderful He is. Hosea 6.3 from King James Version it says, Know the Lord. Hosea 6.6, 6, also from King James Version, For I desire mercy and not sacrifice, and the knowledge of God more than burnt offerings. In short, God really wants us to know Him more by seeking after Him, His heart, His will, both when we pray. Perhaps you might be thinking, when we pray what we want, then God makes it happen, wouldn't He? Because He promises us, in Psalm 37, 4. We pray and what we ask for, and wouldn't He give it to us? Because He already promised us. Well, let's turn to the uh, Word of God. Psalms uh, 37, 4. Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. It says God will give you the desires of your heart. Therefore, if we just pray according to our own desire, wouldn't God give us what we want? No. <laughs> no. Let us examine this verse contextually. Yes, God does want to grant us the desires of our heart, but there are preconditions. One verse before, Psalm 37, 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Precondition is we must absolutely trust God first. Then the next verse, Psalm 37, 4. Take delight in the Lord and He will give you the desires of your heart. We must delight in Him and Him alone. Then the next verse, Psalm 37, 5. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will do it. We must absolutely trust and commit everything unto Him. As such, there are at least three preconditions. First, absolutely trust God. Second, absolutely delight in Him and Him alone. Third, absolutely trust and commit everything unto Him. Then, God the Holy Spirit will reveal God's will for you. 1 Corinthians 2.11 For who knows a person's thoughts except their own spirit within them? In the same way, no one knows the thoughts of God except the Spirit of God. Holy Spirit will put God's will for you in your heart. And when we discern it accurately and pray according to His will, then God hears and grants us answers to our prayer as He promised us in John, 1 John 5, 14 and 15. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of Him. Amen. Therefore, this is how we pray biblically. Seek after God first and ask Holy Spirit to reveal God's will for us. Then, the Holy Spirit will put God's will into our hearts. And when we pray according to God's will, then God will give you what you desire and we adjust our lives accordingly. Once again, 
This is the mechanics of praying. First, we seek after God and His will for us. Then, the Holy Spirit will put God's will for us into our heart. When we accurately discern this to be God's will and pray according to His will, then God hears and grants us the desires of our heart so that our joy will be complete. As such, the Holy Trinity is involved in praying. We pray to God the Father in the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, through the help and the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Praying to God to know Him and to communicate with Him is an absolute privilege, and God really wants us to have relationship with Him through prayer. Friends, I pray from now on, you'll get to know God more intimately through your prayer and grow and be transformed in Him. Amen? Amen. As we close, I have a daily homework and realization application for you. Daily homework first. Please watch today's episode at least a few more times, and please share with others. Realization application, please let go of all your selfish desire and please seek after God first to know and to grow in Him. Amen? Amen? As we close, may I lead you to a prayer? Would you mind repeating after me? Heavenly Father, please forgive me of my selfish desire. Please forgive me trying to manipulate you to have it my way. Please forgive me, and I surrender of all my selfish desires. Precious Holy Spirit, please put God's will into my heart. Please help me to discern it, and please help me to pray accordingly in Jesus' name. And please help me to live our lives that are pleasing to God. Thank you for dramatically readjusting my prayer. And thank you for this amazing opportunity to begin and do, to get to know you more. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Listen up, Coffee Time is found on Just Jesus' channel on YouTube. And I want to invite you, as we grow together, uh, through, uh, as we grow together, we listen to heart, heart of God through the Word of God. Everyone, we love you. Have a wonderful weekend. And as you know, Monday through Thursday, we have a Korean version of this type of program called Zero Your Coffee Time. Please come join us and please come just partake in God's glory. Thank you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye.